you have any just like interesting stories from the, your your time abroad in the J schools that you were in? I wandered a lot in Singapore. Like <laughs> the transportation system is so awesome. Like I just I would stop at a random stop and just like walk for like hours, and it's just really beautiful. Like uh, yeah. every day. <laughs> I would wander too. I would get lost all the time <laughs> by game. Yeah. So and I didn't mind though because. It's, cool. it's a very it's safe really city too. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. never Singapore felt. Singapore is also really, really safe. Like, mm. um, Tammy would probably kill me, but um, I was walking home at like three in the morning after a Chinese New Year festival, and like everything was like nothing bad happened. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, like, that's don't, great. Like, yeah. Safe. yeah. We're glad you're here today. <laughs> yeah. but, but no, that's I have definitely heard that that yeah. Singapore is is de is very safe. So is Copenhagen. Yeah. So so that's definitely a not not something to worry about too much if you're on the fence about going to these countries. Um, is there like a piece of advice that you wish you had known before you went abroad that might help students who are thinking about going to these countries? To be com very honest, I wish I saved more money mm. b beforehand. Um, and also maybe did put in more effort looking for scholarships because I realized later that a lot of them were yeah. not very difficult to receive. Yeah. And also um, I had a friend in my course who reached out to the school that we went to because mm -hmm. I only got scholarships through Mizzou but he reached out to that school we were going to and asked them for help and they actually oh cool yeah they okay. gave him something because they wanted exchange yeah. students so I, don't know, I wish I maybe saved a little more money before yeah. I went because you don't oh, realize it's also how, an it goes expensive country. yes it's a really expensive country yeah. which I didn't realize and um, money just goes really quick because mm -hmm. You want to do as many things as possible. Yeah, which... and, you, and probably get like invited to stuff by people. And yeah. You want to try out new things. And yeah. Can, yeah. It can get a little expensive, right. but that's great I, Yeah, advice. and don't hold back on anything. <laughs> do everything because yeah. yeah. you won't get to do it again. So. Definitely. Yeah. Singapore was dirt cheap. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> Food is like two dollars a day. You can actually like legit wow. want it. Wow. So it's it's like. Really so if cool. you're broke. <laughs> Singapore is the one for you. No. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> and it's like good. It's like a. A good amount of food that mm -hmm. you can get for like two dollars. Yeah. Cool. Did you have a favorite Singaporean food? Um, I just like I'm not really a foodie person. I just like whatever you give me, I'll eat it. It'll <laughs> yeah. be good. Like, I in magazine publishing, we took um, we had to like write food reviews, and everything is delicious to me. So, <laughs> which cool. um, in the in that food review, um, he he was going to take us to an exotic place, um, exotic food place, and it was an American restaurant. So. <laughs> <laughs> as long as fun. it's not like the Hard Rock Cafe or anything. <laughs> Did you have a favorite food? Um, I didn't have a favorite food per se, but I went to a lot of cafes and I oh, went to pastries, cool. yeah. yeah. And my school's cafeteria was fire. It was amazing. So if you go to DMJX, eat lunch there every day, <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, that's great. <laughs>